is Fortune, a Papillon, handled by Andrea Samuels from Westbury, New York. And Andrea has handled the winner in this 8-inch class two of the last three years. And this dog, Fortune, actually the best cumulative score in qualifying of all these 8-inch dogs. Well, she's running second simply because we're in the preferred category here. She does a little blind cross there. Get into those weave we, poles. We, 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 we. Look at Fortune go. Up and over. Get that contact. Yes. Get the dog. Get the dog out of that tunnel. Dogs aren't looking for the handlers coming out of that tunnel. Get the bottom of that contact. There you go. Nice, nice tight turn there to a blind cross. Wait, wait, wait. Bottom of that teeter. It hits. Dog is off and running. Get that turn, get that turn, get that turn. There it is. Woo! And as we said, as opposed to the other classes where the best qualifiers run later, she ran early, so now Fortune has set the bar to everyone else going to try to meet. Look at the patience here. When do I go? Ah, hit, hit. I get to go. And off to the races we are. Look at that jump. So and not only do we have a great run. setting the bars a bit higher, although this is the 18th. We get to division. untie our shoes <laughs> at the <laughs> same time. Nothing like bringing a toy inches, into the ring to do. that and you have to have on anyway. Get off course, and it is Fortune, whose second run of the night stands up the rest of the way to win the 8-inch class here at the Masters Agility Championship. <laughs> Well so done. happy. Congratulations. Oh, and congratulations. Yeah, I know you did lots of hard work yeah, too. Like yes. Just sitting there was hard work watching. I would say you held on. You had to watch eight other dogs compete. What were the emotions like for you watching the other dogs run? I was just like, just praying, hoping, and just luck was on our side today <laughs> what is the key to communicating we've seen so many off courses but you and fortune were, were lock and step um she has got a heart of gold and she tries so hard for me always she's just so dependable well congratulations and congratulations to you too girl last <laughs> year you were no stranger to winning that's for sure john yeah, Andrea, the handler, has won now three of the last four years with different dogs. It's Fortune this year. Whose dog in the 12-inch class is Pixel, a miniature American Shepherd handled by Amy Sheffield from Omaha, Nebraska. Pixel, the defending champion of the 12-inch class, has also competed internationally representing the United States. Can she be a winner as the last dog in this class? Oh, that's just, that's just time. It's just time. That's all it is. There's no faulting on that. Can she make it Look up Look at now? those weave poles. I think she might be able to make it up. Get to the back side. Nice. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Nice. Go. Stop that dog do. walk. Hang in there. Let's finish this out clean. Can she beat Pre? Get a tight turn. Keep your eye on your dog. There we go. Yes, she can. Nice job. Back-to-back -back titles for Pixel made up for that looseness early with some great speed down the stretch. Good girl. Look at these weaves. I tell you, those little dogs can weave. Look at that. And then here's that beautiful dog walk. You see just, all it takes is just a paw. Just a paw, and then finish these last two jumps. Get that front cross in to make sure you keep your dog with you. Happy dog, happy handler. Pixel is fired up tonight, and so is Amy. You had a stumble at the beginning, but she was fast enough to make it up. What was the key to recovering in your mind from the initial mistake? Just get her back, take a deep breath, keep on trucking. You have won here at Westminster. You've won at the international level. Obviously an experienced competitor. How important is the bond between dog and handler to that winning combination? It's very important because she's not writing the checks at, to go to these events. I am. <laughs> so it's very important that she loves it. My job to make her love it too. It's a game. <laughs> Clearly you guys do. Congratulations, Amy. Thank you very much. It is Pink, a Border Collie, handled by Jennifer Crank from Pickerington, Ohio.
Pink, the two-time defending champion here at Westminster in the 16-inch class. Can she make it Stay. three in a row? Jump, jump, jump. Are we going to get a three hey. peak? Listen to her oh, squeal no. and go weed, through weed, this. Weed, 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 weed. Those are weed pulls. Those are weed pulls. Get that contact hey. into that jump, tunnel. Jump, back, back. Backside, you hear her saying hit back, it. back. Hit it, hit it. Pink okay, says, jump. I got this, I got jump. this. Back, Just back, tell me where my arm. Teeter, go. Hit it. Don't relax. Okay, jump. Don't relax. Jump. Tunnel. Tunnel. Push. You can hear Jennifer always hey, working. Here. Always jump. working. Jump. Always jump. working. Jump. Yes. Yeah. Third straight Ooh. title for Pink. Yeah. We have a three piece <laughs> there up as well for a grand title tonight. In real time, those weave poles are faster than I can say weave poles. Look at this. Look at the intensity on Pink's eyes. Get out of my way, poles. Get out of my way. The 30th dog to run tonight and the first to do this course clean and under 30 seconds. This is Westminster Agility Royalty right here. Jennifer, congratulations. Pink had a tremendous run. This is such a technical course, such tight turns. What's the key to keeping her focused? So I learned a lot from those that ran before me and watching their technique, what worked, what didn't, um, and really studying them and learning from their mistakes and successes. <laughs> Smart handler, that's for sure. Pink, congratulations. On, oh, yes, on your run. She clearly loves this. She was talking to you all the way through. Yes, that's, that's her name. Her name is Pink. She's named after a singer, and she sings and screams all the way through. <laughs> We loved watching her run. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So continuing the 20 inch class, we next dog is Lily Ann, an Australian Shepherd, handled by Thomas Gooding from Niskayuna, New York. And the dogs are being run in the reverse order of how well they qualified. So these next five dogs are the top qualifiers coming out of this championship group. These should be some of our fastest and most fun to watch. And oh, there you go, there you go. Look at those poles. Look at those weed poles. Here we go. Get that contact into that tunnel. Run. Get that dog backside of that jump. Nicely done. Now get to the bottom of that dog. Got that contact. Off that tunnel, off that tunnel. Be careful. That tunnel can just suck the dogs right in, and we don't have it yet. Up and over the triple, through the double. Still clean. There you go. Hang in, hang tight, hang tight. You got it, Thomas. Good run. And look at these weed poles. Just, hey, look at me, the dog saying, barking, getting through those weed poles. There you go. It's all about me. I'm in the weeds. Nice tunnel shot there. So we will have a new champion. Lily Ann has taken the 20 inch class and has given herself and her handler a chance to win the Masters Agility Championship. Uh Congratulations, Thomas and Lily Ann. You just beat the defending champion. What was the toughest part of the course for you? The nerves. The nerves? Yes. <laughs> How about for Lily Ann? Because she didn't look oh. like she had any nerves. No, she doesn't have any nerves. She just loves it out there and run. She just runs and runs and runs. She loves us. Well, we love to watch her. Congratulations. Thank you very much. John. Boy, already, Jen, a big surprise here tonight, and we still have four more classes to go. Lily Ann, the Australian Shepherd, has won the 20-inch class of the Masters Agility Championship. Dog number eight of 10 of this 24-inch class is Punk, a golden retriever, handled by Grace Buzanowski from Pepperell, Massachusetts. Runner-up three years ago, Punk looks very much like my Sadie Sue at home. Let's see what she can do. He can do, sorry. Yeah, let's see if Punk can punk this. Here we go, into the repo. Punk says, I got this, let me go, let me go, into that contact. Get to the back side of that jump. Go, Punk. There we go. Watch that tunnel, nice. Keep, there you go. Good, 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 go. Oh my gosh, they made that work. 
Doesn't matter how pretty it is, as long as you get through it clean. There we go. There you go, John! Ten there seconds you go. clear. Atta boy. Look at the barking through these weeples. I got it, I got it, I got it. Get out of my way. Let me at this, into that tunnel. Just barking the whole way through this course. Over that triple, looking forward at that double. I got it, there's a tunnel. I got it, Mom, you just get to where you need to get to. And so it is Punk, the golden retriever who wins in the 24 inch class at the Masters Agility Championship. Grace Punk, congratulations, you are awesome. Oh, and I get a kiss, I'm the winner. Grace, you were uh, a runner-up three years ago. Obviously, you've put in a lot of time since then. How much time, dedication, do you spend each week training? Um, you know, we he's a nine-year-old dog at this point, so it's mostly maintenance, you know, and I've been working pretty hard on some verbal skills independently of that, so. Like a fine wine, you get better with age, don't you? Yes. yes. For folks watching on TV thinking, wow, I'd like to get into agility, what advice would you have? You know, I think it's great to try and find a local dog training facility to start at, you know, and, and a lot of places have multiple levels that you can go to once you've found a nice place to start. Well, congratulations, and you did a great job. We loved watching you. John? Well, it's registered name as a punk rock reference, just a minor threat, but in the end, it is punk. Pink is indeed your grand champion of the Masters Agility Championship. Third straight year, she's won her class. First time she has been a grand champion. Only of the 50 dogs to run under 30 seconds. And boy, Terry, a very deserving champion. You take a look at all five class winners overall, Fortune, Pixel, Pink, Lillian, and Punk. But Pink deserved that big trophy. Oh yeah, Pink definitely deserved it. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.